This episode is supported in part by Curiosity Stream. Every day, you probably have to do at least one thing you'd rather not do. Maybe you have to finish a boring work project, or go to the gym again, or stick to your diet when you'd rather spend the day binging Netflix and eating Doritos. Sticking to your long-term goals requires motivation. But just like people, motivation is complicated. And understanding more about the science of motivation can help you stay on task at work and at home. I'm Vanessa and you're watching BrainCraft, where we explore the psychology in your everyday life. Now, psychologists have divided motivation into two types, intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation is when you are driven by internal factors. You do something because you find it fun or interesting or meaningful. On the other hand, extrinsic motivation is when you're driven by external factors. You do something because you're getting paid, because someone tells you to, or because you're receiving or expecting positive feedback from others. Even though it seems like extrinsic motivators would be really effective, like what could be better than cold hard cash? Most research actually shows this isn't the case. Often, individuals driven by intrinsic motivations are more likely to stick with their long-term goals. Studies show that intrinsically motivated people are more likely to keep exercising or quit smoking or perform better in school than those simply driven by compliments, money or a teacher's praise. In fact, providing people with extrinsic motivators, like money, may hamper creative thinking, making them worse at tasks that require problem-solving and out-of-the-box thinking. So, how can you use science to increase your motivation? First, figure out what your intrinsic motivations are. So, what do you like? What do you think is interesting or meaningful? Let your intrinsic motivations be your guide. For example, let's say your goal is to exercise more often. You're more likely to stick with your goal if you can do a type of exercise that you think is fun. So skip the super boring treadmill and try out a dance class, or sign up for a volleyball league, or play frisbee with your mates. Studies have also shown that people who considered an activity as fun, rather than strictly exercise, were less likely to compensate after with snacks and desserts. So there's actually multiple ways that fun physical activities could improve your health. At work, it can be harder to figure out your intrinsic motivations, but try to focus on what you like about your job. So, does your company work on issues that are important to you? Do you enjoy being helpful to your co-workers or getting to solve problems? Focusing on that could help you get through a particularly boring or difficult task. All right, are you still having trouble getting motivated? Well, it turns out motivation can be contagious. You can increase your own motivation by surrounding yourself with other intrinsically motivated people. In one study, students were taught by an instructor that they were told was either volunteering, so intrinsically motivated, or paid, so extrinsically motivated. Students taught by the volunteer showed greater interest and persistence in the activity, suggesting that other people's motivation can rub off on us. So if you are still struggling, perhaps it's time to hit a crowded gym, a study group, or a co-working space. Ultimately, we can't hack our brains to feel motivated all the time. But by focusing on our intrinsic motivations and surrounding ourselves with other intrinsically motivated people, we can increase our ability to power through tasks and stick to our long-term goals. And if you want to surround yourself with intrinsically motivated people, there are a lot in Return to the Moon. You can see it on Curiosity Stream, who are the sponsor of today's episode. They're a subscription streaming service with more than 2,400 documentaries, non-fiction titles and originals for you to watch. Unlimited access starts at $2.99 a month, but for Braincraft viewers, the first 30 days are free if you sign up at curiositystream.com slash braincraft and use the promo code braincraft. Thanks, everyone.